Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Training with me and above. In this series of whiteboard videos, we are talking about building a simple CAPM application end to end. By far in this video series, we have created a sales order database table along with a OData service and created our first Fiori UI application. In this episode, we are going to enhance our app with adding additional UI annotations to enrich our application with extra bit of content. So let us go to the system and explore about how can we add more content to our application by adding UI annotation. So let me show you the essence of adding annotation. So if you've seen the last application uh, created automatically by the wizard is this application doesn't get you any column out of the box which means every time user has to go and add the columns from the settings icon. But what if my user don't want to do that? What if, if I would like to already show here the columns and user can just click on go and all those columns should appear. So in that case, what we can do is go back to our app and in the generated application folder, you would see a file called annotation.cds. We can use this file and we can start adding UI annotations, which will have a significance for our Fury UI. So what I will do is I will tell the system to start annotating. So annotate my entity from my service. And it's a sales order service. And I wanted to annotate that with extra bit of information, which is what we will give in form of UI annotations. So let's add a UI annotation. And the very first annotation which I would like to add is line item annotation. Yes, the line item annotation allows you to add uh, columns uh, and these columns will be then visible to the table. So we will add here multiple of them so I can add control space and then I can see the list of code completion which SAP offers. And then maybe I would want to add let's say customer name and then add next one as also another annotation for record type with the type and value again. So let me just add here data field. Maybe I want to add more data field. So I would want to add customer name, gross amount and currency code. Yes, along with that, I want to also add order ID. So let's add order ID. Yes. So these are all the four columns I want to add. I will save the change and now I'm going to go back to my Fury UI and click on the go button. Of course, I have to refresh because I've enhanced the uh, service with additional annotations. So let's click on go button and wow, you can see user doesn't need to go back and add these columns manually in the screen. You also get a nice button here to drill down to next screen, yes. So what I wanted to do now is to go back and add some more annotation to show the header in the uh, in the next screen. So let's go back and let's add in another annotation called header info. And I will just go ahead and add more fields inside the header info. For example, type, the type is gonna be header info type. Then we will say the type name is going to be orders or order. And then I'll say type plural name is orders. And I will then go ahead and add my description as well as title. So this description and title will be displayed on the next screen on the top. So we will add here now a data field as well as for title, we will add a data field. So let's show here the order ID and also the customer name. Yes, let us save this. And let's go back and test this. Okay, I missed a comma here. So now I will save the annotations to now go back and reload my Fury app. So earlier we saw on the drill down on the next screen, we were not able to see anything at the top of the page. But now when you go 
and click on any of the item you can now see the customer name and the price is getting displayed on the top that's pretty cool so that's the magic of adding ui annotations if you're interested to learn complete cloud application programming model with sap cloud platform feel free to subscribe our training on anubhavtrainings.com with that thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next episode